the solution that's using the semi synchronous can fix this. Uh, that's uh, still ensuring the consistency and preventing the loss of when uh, an issue occur, like um, the mask cannot fail or the replica cannot fail. So, uh, how we can deploy a reliable and highly uh, available database for the cluster on a database as a service? Uh, and uh, here we propose a solution. It's really simple. The architecture here, as you can see, that uh, in the, the simplest um, um, model, we have one master over there, and uh, there are at least two standby nodes for client that can um, raise the data from. So why why we not use uh, just two nodes? Because uh, if one node, one node cannot fail, the master cannot uh, write down the commit or the data to the database because it has to wait at least one uh, add mm, message. And over here, you can see uh, some uh, configuration, basic configuration for uh, the archite this architecture. We have to uh, uh, enable the GPID, uh, the global uh, transaction ID for uh, all the uh, the nodes, and uh, here you see that as, uh, we have used the RPI semi sync select animal to uh, ensure that at least one um, act message can set, be sent to the master. And then this is the process process uh, of automatic failover. Um, in the case of the primary not fail, uh, our system can detect the um, that's the primary not fail and uh, uh, respond that to uh, the system to know that our primary not fail. And um, uh, the next step. The system will detect that mm, primary node and um, set uh, that node to the stale mode. And in in this time, all the system uh, turn into the red only mode. And uh, uh, we continue to update the DNS report using uh, the design yet. And then. Um, our system will promote the new primary node here to uh, continue to, to receive data from uh, the user or client. And then a trope collector will create a new replica node to um, maintain the same number of uh, the system, the same number of nodes of the system. And, uh, that's the process of aut automatic failover for this solution. And we have some tests and uh, evaluate for uh, this solution. As you can see here, uh, related to the data integrity, um, the data transfer delay between sources and uh, replica in asynchronous mode, which uh, is the default mode of what uh, open spectro. The red, uh, the red um, bar over there is uh, the number of uh, GPIDs and not copy over from uh, the source, which means the master nodes to the replica. And uh, the gray line over there uh, represents the number of uh, GPIDs not applied on the replica yet. So with the asynchronous model, we can see that uh, the present of red light mean that the data may be lost at the moment. Uh, the, that means the, the master nodes fail, and the high error value of the, the gray light over there uh, leads to uh, the uh, inconsistency between the master and the replica. So. Uh, with the semi-synchronous model, 
there is no like, red light here, which means that we ensure that the data is always set and recoverable uh, from the event of the master not fail or uh, some replica not fail. Um, next is the performance. We test with uh, the TV size around uh, 50 gigabyte and uh, with 1 VM, 8 G P G P U and 4 gig of RAM. And uh, the concurrent connection will be uh, 1 uh, and 50, uh, 60, 16 to uh, 512. Concurrent connection. So, um, as you can see, that uh, the performance uh, of uh, the semi synchronous model is um, lower than uh, the default mode with the uh, asynchronous model. But uh, I think that um, difference between the two models is acceptable for the data consistency in this case. So um, next is uh, the downtime. Uh, we test uh, a lot of time and uh, approximately uh, only, only 85, 85 seconds recovery time when uh, the master not failed. And uh, there is no downtime when a uh, replica not failed. So um, uh, this, um, with this model, uh, the downtime will be, will be reduced a lot with uh, compared with the, the, the default mode. Uh, we, that will take around five or ten minutes um, downtime. So that's all of uh, our presentation today. So uh, uh, thank you very much for listening. And this is uh, the information. <laughs> I mean, if you if you have any question after this uh, presentation. Thank you.